Good day. Today, I'm going to go and give LinkedIn a try. Um, at the moment, uh, LinkedIn has got some options where you can go test your skills. So I'm going to go there. Um, as you can see, I've gone into LinkedIn and it's taken me straight to my feed page. So I'm clicking on my profile. I've expanded the display to be a bit larger. Um, and as you can see here, they've got a take skill quiz. So I've already done an Excel one. And so now I want to do a Word one. So I figure I'm going to go ahead and do Word. You'll see here it says 15 to 20 timed multiple choice questions, 15 minutes, 70 percentage required. So let me go and try this one. Alright, let's go. Okay, you need a document. Uh, you need to document a procedure. Which paragraph format is best to help readers follow the sequence of instructions? Line numbers, numbered list columns, or bulleted lists? I would choose numbered lists over here. Okay. You want to capture all the content and design elements in your current document so you can use them as a starting point when creating new documents. To do so, save the current document as, I would save it, uh, what you want to save the content and design elements in your current document, um, I would save it as a template file. What is the difference between a footnote and an endnote? A footnote is placed in the page footer and an endnote is placed on a blank page. No, a footnote is placed at the bottom of the page and an endnote is placed at the end of a document. When you are typing in a paragraph and reach the end of the line, Word automatically starts a new line for you. What is this feature called? I believe it is called a Word Wrap. What happens in this smart art diagram when you delete the selected object? Uh, spring. Text from the deleted box merges with the next box text. Um, the remaining objects resize to maximize the same overall height. The gaps between the objects close and the objects remain the same size. The selected object is deleted and the spacing is preserved where the object was. I would use the one that the remaining object resize, the main remaining objects resize to maintain the same overall height. You want to create a shortcut that replaces an acronym that you type with the acronym's full text. For example, replacing forward slash MT with Microsoft Teams. What word feature do you use to create the shortcut? I would use the auto correct option. What Microsoft Word feature lets you capture a portion of your screen to be used as an image in your document? I am going to go with the screen clipping option. Which object can you not insert into a Word document from the Insert tab? I'm going to choose a sketch. You want to set a wider inside margin to accommodate the binding of a document where pages are printed on both sides. Which option should you choose in the Page Setup um, dialog box? I'm going to choose Mirror Margins. You are working on a local copy of a document when Word unexpectedly closes. After you relaunch Word, how can you find the most recently saved version of the, of the document? I'm going to choose this um, file, recent recover unsaved um, documents. When you crop an image in a document, what happens to the image and overall document file size? The crop parts of the image are hidden and the overall file size increases? No, the crop parts of the image are hidden and the overall file size does not change. 
What type of page is useful at the front of a large document to identify the document title, author and information? I'm going to choose cover page. Which file format best preserves formatting and allows editing when a Word document is transferred to another application? I'm choosing rich text format. Why is it important to use alternative text for objects in your documents? It allows you to display the text in a different in a language other than the default language. This one is I'm going to choose the first one. Um, Okay, final question. You want to repeat an element such as the date on all pages of a document. Which option should you choose? I would say insert, header and footer. View results. Great work. You earned a badge. Hey, excellent man. You're in the top 5% of 1.7 million people who took this. So thank you for watching, I hope it's helpful and if I got anything wrong I would appreciate your feedback. Thank you, goodbye.